Today I have another app showcase to show you guys some of the latest Vision Pro apps that take advantage of some of the technology. Let's start with Magic Room. This one will kind of show a LiDAR interface showing what the Vision Pro sees in a digital way. So let's reveal the magic. So you can see here a nice colorful 3D meshing. And as we walk around, it live meshes. And something kind of cool about it is I can go into my bedroom here, which is actually pitch black. As I walk in here, I can see and clearly walk around the room, even though it's pitch black. You can't see my hands. I can walk towards, I know this is my closet, but I can kind of confidently walk around even though it's pitch black. So it's a cool little way to use some night vision here. You can see through the walls, it meshes everything. And let's go back outside. I think it's kind of a cool way to demo this tech a little bit. And then we can also change this to digital rain which gives you a bit of a matrix vibe here. And again, I can walk around and see this matrix along the walls. And it gets kind of dark when I stop moving. So that one I think is pretty cool as a useful, eh, I guess for the night vision, but otherwise, no, just a little bit of fun. Let's move on and go to art universe. This is a pretty neat one to just kind of show off different artists and shows their art across a big wall like this. I can go into a different environment and just kind of chill and look through some art. Mark Thompson weaves memory and place into his oil paintings. So you can listen to a little bit of narration as well and just look at a big wall of art. I wish you could kind of select individual pieces and make them bigger so it's a little limited, but kind of another cool way that you can uh, see this technology being used. Let's move on to Cell Walk. This gives you a taste of some educational content for Vision Pro, which I think is uh, pretty interesting. There are just a couple of things here, but let's go to Molecular Design of Life. And here as I move around, I see kind of through a window, a bit of a 3D almost model of this cell that I can rotate. And it seems very high def and you can zoom in like that as well. So if I were in school and learning about cells, this would be a much better way than a textbook. And I actually really like playing around with this one. And this would be another area I'm excited to see kind of more educational apps made for Vision Pro. Pretty cool. Botanical. This one allows you to place little plants around your place. This one, I've had trouble trying to figure out how to add more plants. I mean, it's just this one. There must be a better way, but you can have that open and then go ahead and do whatever you're doing in case I want to look at Reddit or something. I have something over here. And also my plant just hangs out right there. I'm imagining we could probably have a few other plants, but um, more to come on that. And you can see how it kind of stays in place pretty well. And hand occlusion is actually not very good with this app. If I'm up here, it's fine. But as I get closer, a little bit weird. But it stays in place very well. So there's my digital plant. Next is Endel. This gives you a bit of a meditative experience, and uh, there are a couple that are locked down right now, but this is in the free version. And this just gives you kind of a bit of a meditative space with uh, all these lights around. Pretty cool, and you can see a bit of hand tracking too, as it puts out more little dots by my hands. This again, I think is a fun, really early app showing what might be possible later if you have like a really good meditation app, all sorts of graphics you can put into your vision. Next, we've got one called Doodle Draw. And here, just a really simple app where you can go ahead and draw, as you might expect, with some hand tracking. Or, of course, you can bring it in here and use your finger, which is nice and fun. Go ahead and erase all that. The other thing that I noticed that I actually really like with this is if we bring it over to the wall, I can go ahead and just use my finger. I can just draw on the wall with some tactile feedback. 
and that's pretty cool. So if you want to draw and wanted just like kind of a little thing to use with some feedback, that's pretty cool. Immerse share. This one is pretty neat. It shows you almost like a TikTok type thing of spatial video. But we can scroll through and see all sorts of spatial videos that people share. And they look just as good as the spatial videos I would take on my iPhone 15 Pro. Can make it nice and big just like that. So that is pretty cool. Uh, curious to see as these video sharing apps get more popular, more content gets on here. Um, I'll be super curious to see if this would be a place where I would actually want to spend an hour just looking at random immersive videos. And that's it. A few more apps. I'll continue to post some videos as I see new apps out there. Uh, but thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.